Uh, Italy, Texas decided to remove the children from the home. After an Italy Police Department officer responded to the social worker's call to the Ellis County Sheriff's 911 dispatch, they found three children dead and two seriously wounded. Among the deceased were a six-year-old boy, five-year-old twin boy and girl, a four-year-old boy, and a 13-month-old were also injured. Each taken to different uh, nearby hospitals for treatment, Texas uh, Child Protective Service confirmed that all five were siblings. The suspect, 25-year-old uh, Shemaya Bianchana Hall, was arrested and charged with three counts of capital murder. Her ransom is set at $2 million. ABC 8 WFAA reported that the children had been previously placed by CPS under the guardianship of another relative. The Ellis County Sheriff's Department uh, statement did not confirm the relationship between the suspect and victims. Uh, Shamalia Anderson, a relative of the victims, told the news that they gained their wings. Uh, those are beautiful little babies. Texas uh, Department of Family and Protective Service said in a statement uh, that we are shocked by the incomprehensible tragedy and are already working with law enforcement to invest what happened. Bitch, I'll tell you what happened. She snapped and she killed them babies. Um, we, I, it, it's usually because of the mug shot that once you look at them, you believe they did everything as accused of them. They're totally guilty of what they said. She did that shit, son. Um, first off, man, this, this is a tragedy. This is this is super sad and it's heartbreaking uh, in every sense of the word. It's it's super tough to see things like this because children don't deserve this no matter what. Yeah. Um, it goes to be said as far as that. What I really wanted to harp up on is um, I, me and Jermaine talked about this. But I said that women in particular, black women are losing their mother gene. They losing their mother gene. How many times have you been on social media and you talk, hear women talk about they need a break from their children? I need a break. I need some me time. I'm kid free. FNF. And they all tie in. Are, are, are you familiar with these terms? Yes. Why do you think they, like, how, do you think that, what, what I'm trying to, I think, if I may, I think, I think I know what you might be trying to say. I think that they are, uh, they was poisoned, like we say, by this media. But I really do, it is that. Like, as, as old as we saying it is that they was poisoned by this, and now we starting to see the residual impact of that. They lived their hot girl summers and shit. They had hella kids every hot girl summer. Mm. 25 or 6 years. Yeah, because you know, you gotta have a baby, then you can't fuck really for like a month, and then you fuck go crazy for like two months, and then you have another baby. Lather, rinse, and repeat. <laughs> and so now we seeing that, and now they like, fuck, all the money really starting to dry up. Shit, I ain't getting no more stimmies. Shit, uh, they only gonna give me uh, income tax benefit, income tax credit for what, four of them, and I got six? I mean, she had five. It's five or six. She down to two, So she had. That's that's a lot to be paying for. You ain't finna get, uh, and they lowered the amount that you get too. So all the shit that you thought you was finna live off of, you thought you was finna live off of public aid, mm. nigga, ain't that much stamps in the world for those six fucking kids, man. They, it's a cutoff point for everything. And so once you done uh, put yourself in the corner, which I think a lot of these young ladies have, they like, oh shit. Oh man. And a lot of people, I, and, and then on the flip side of it too, I can personally attest, I ain't gonna give everybody this as a cop out or nothing like that, but like, these bitches be having per, uh, postpartum for real. Yeah. They really be ready to kill these motherfuckers because they like, damn, my freedom gone. I was a bad bitch. I was a bad bitch. My baby mama. So I'm trying to tell you, like, <laughs> this, what? That's, that's, she was affected by this shit for oh, okay. And I couldn't tell, I'm telling her like, yo, I think you got postpartum. And she's like, you can't tell me I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, because you can't tell a dumb person they're dumb, you can't tell a crazy person they're crazy. And so, they didn't, this is the result of that. Like, you got all these kids and you feel stuck and you can't go nowhere in your life for real. You can't go to Cancun, nigga, uh, and be in the middle of fucking dope shootouts and <laughs> shit. So, <laughs> like, everything, you stuck, nigga, you start doing wild shit. That's why Snapped is, has so many seasons, nigga. Right. <laughs> like, 
You box you yourself. You say it was three husbands. But. Yeah. But real, I think so. Real quick. Just my personal take. I wonder what precipitated, like, what was she doing for the CPS to be involved initially anyway? We talking about her in this incident, incident in this instance because she's the one who's just the latest person on the news. Mm-hmm. When I see women say this, I, I, I need a break. First, I'm like, how do you need a break from life? Like, what? Where are we taking breaks? At? We take breaks from things that's not natural, like work. That's where you take breaks from. Or they mention something like, well, the man should be doing this when the man not here. And it's always something that was independent. Definitely. And you you know exactly where I was going with this. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm saying I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? It's just confirming what I was thinking. The man is out of the picture. You you've been taught to marginalize the man, to disrespect him, to not need him until you need him. And then when you've pushed him away, he's gone and you don't have anybody to blame but yourself. It's easy to say a woman didn't have these children by herself, but who are you having these children with? Is this somebody who's going to be around? You have that. Nobody's out here getting left by a deadbeat didn't know he was a deadbeat. This ain't the old days and shit. You watch all his reels and shit on You see he's not the car that you reproduce with. And the average nigga not, uh, to be fair too, the average nigga's not finna stand by and allow you to disrespect this no, nigga no. just due to you having emotional imbalance because you have kids. That doesn't actually what happened. Hold on, oh, and it's not. This is my my it starts there. I'm period. I don't think it's like primarily because she had this child. This is why women feel like they need a break from their children. First off, me and you never had a feeling, and the reason why is because we don't have that mother gene. Yeah. And when I say we won't, we won't have that feeling. We, we, I, do you hear from you need a break from your son? No, I'm, I, I'm glad you brought this up because I was just saying this the other day to my nigga. And, and what I'm I saying was, is, Jason's son live with him. So, yeah. so go ahead. I was just saying this the other day. I was like, man, it's getting to a point where I feel I'm scared for him to go back and spend an extended amount of time away from me because I feel like you know the, the pitfalls. It's gonna be pit. Yeah. yeah. To say it nicely. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he's gonna regress. I feel like it's uh it's, it's a bad situation. So I don't I'm like getting to the point where I'm like you need to be away less and more so, yeah, I, can, so yeah. I can put my imprint on yeah, you for yeah. real. Cause you really a program mode. I'm yeah. still programming you for the world. Yeah. So I of course I never need a break from my door. I don't yeah. love being around her, but it's a fatherly love. So when I say women are losing their mother gene, it's because they're losing their natural affection for their children. When children become burdens, what you do, you relieve yourself of burdens. Be, I guarantee you, before this whole incident took off like it did, she was tired of it. She was cussing, I'm talking crazy. That's probably why CPS was involved. She was breaking down. This is all my theory. What causes this is when a woman is taken out of her natural state to where she is primarily a caregiver. Women are naturally meant to sit at home without the worries of the world. It's hard for a woman to, this is when a woman playing two roles. Having a child, you're not playing a father or mother ever. The only time you play two roles is when you're responsible for your children and then you're responsible for deadlines at work. That is why these women are getting overwhelmed. And, and, the mental, a, and the mental. You can't implement no logic in a motherfucker if you don't possess that. Definitely. But and and when you say that, what exactly do you mean? I mean like uh, you you can't teach them to think like a man if you don't think like a man. And, and okay, it's, <laughs> and this is nature versus nurture. Yeah, it's not even nothing. No shot, no disrespect. No, 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 no. Because they what what it is? Them. How this system is? It convinced black women that education and a degree and a great job equal was, a man was better than being a man. Because now it if make you, them a man. It do. That's or make you not. Yeah, and you don't need one. Yeah. So what they did, they, they they do the shit so subtly and so slick. They tell women, you black women, you the most educated person. Blah blah blah. And then they show the stark contrast between men. And when they say educated, it's only indoctrination. Yeah. It's just what they deem education and how they pass out their degrees or how they qualify you as a person. Yeah. So they they took women from just being satisfied with being women. 
Like they may be in a woman a bad thing. They may you sitting at home taking care of your house, your children, waiting on your man, cooking for your man, being a support system a bad thing. So they, they told you you don't need him, you can do better than him. So now he started looking like the enemy. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So yeah, now, you're, now you're not treating him like a human being or the man of the house. So now it's a conflict. Each generation had these women who had who had this idea put in their head raising the children. So in turn, the boys become super soft and they're not responsible. You see what I'm saying? Because yes. the men been pushed out. And I'm not just laying bass to the women. Cause it's, it's not it's, that at all. The, the roles are so fucking destroyed, destroyed that the men don't got their natural gene. Yeah. It's men who be like, well, fuck them. Which we see in the video where this dude was talking about, he was shit about his children. Uh, he don't want whatever. It's not the same for a man when he's being pushed away. When everything is seemingly against him, child support, government, whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody against him, he goes, well, fuck it, then. I'll give you this money yeah. and I don't got to see you motherfuckers. Yeah. Not to say that it's right, but we on par with this system. That's what happens to you. So, what it is, the women get confused. Their priorities get misplaced. They give the job or this, the world, or the club presidents over their children. The important, instead of saying, I need a break from this job, is I need a break from my children. Instead of saying well, I'm job free, it's I'm kid free. And it break them down. It confuses them as where what they supposed to be. I'm supposed to be the strong woman. They said I'm this, I'm that, and the other. They telling you to be everything as opposed to who you really are. They nurture you to Yeah, because the government's your man. Be, hell yeah. And it's self and it's self worse than the self idolization. If I get this uh this degree, if I get a billion likes on social media, it's all vanity. That's why you see the ass pictures and shit. They, right. Women are not conditioned to be mothers. They're conditioned to get pregnant and have children, but they're not conditioned to be mothers. They don't, no, they don't have role models in this regard on how to deal with the situation. So that's why... Go ahead. I was about to say, that's why, to kind of bring it back full mm -hmm. circle to answer your question, if I may coin a term, a phrase, I'm going to call it baby doll syndrome. Because... <laughs> when you was a little baby, when you were a kid, they give you a baby doll and you think, oh, it's cute. It's cute. This is fun. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. And eventually your ass outgrow that shit. Yeah. And you like, I don't even want this no more. I'm trying to be grown now. Yeah. And it happens again. It happens again. You like, I want a baby. Uh, and then I want a baby. I just want a baby. But all of a sudden, for some reason, your, your biological clock, as they say, is ticking. And you like, I want a baby. I want a baby. And you get a baby, and you like, see, my baby cute. My baby got good hair. Yeah. And they like to dress it up. It's all taking all these photo shoots. Yeah. You got a belly, uh, a big belly photo shoot and shit. A maternity Man. photo. That nasty looking yeah. little motherfucker. But it's all cute. It's all cute and fun and games until it's time to make this motherfucker a functional, human, responsible, productive person. In, I ain't going to say society, but in this world. Mm -hmm. uh, capable of doing anything or whatever. Contributing anything or even taking care of your own family, so that's why I mean it's a baby doll syndrome. You're like, oh shit, I'm done with this toy. I'm trying to grow up now. I'm yeah. trying to level up. I'm trying to boss up. I'm trying to be boss bitch. Nigga, you supposed to do that before you had the fucking kid. Definitely, and it's a, <laughs> and it's all a part of the curse that we under for poison. And P poison. this is this is all the thing I can say is for women choose better men to reproduce with. Cause at the end of the day, you choosing who the fuck gets you pregnant. At least choose who you, you choose rock, rock dogging. Nah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's that's, that's, I mean, that's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We know that they don't plan on getting pregnant. No, nobody fucking plan. Latoya. Man, that's like eating fire and not plan on getting burnt. They get 95 percent. Did I say ninety five? At least ninety percent of niggas is not planning. Yeah. We weren't even planning on being in America. Yeah. <laughs> that's some real shit, though, man. That's some real shit. It, I, and, and my thing is black women losing their mother gene. The mother gene right. is slowly going away. The natural affection. Of, it's, 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 it, we used to for real. A woman said this to me because it was like I was, we and then we was discussing. I was like, it seemed like it seemed like niggas is trying to get their kids now. Yeah, and niggas oh, is yeah. like down. It is okay. They just like this is. I think it's better for them to be away. I know a lot more niggas that got their kids, and 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 it's. It's, it's down. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm saying only the only people who still 
uh, the only bad mothers who still got their kids is the ones who think they bad mothers for not having their kids, and they're not responsible enough. And it's a social, to, it's a social thing. Yeah, they, they don't they, want to be seen without children. So they yeah, and they think they, they think they, um, they think they losing, or they think they, it just fucks them up, man, because yeah. they don't understand they wrong. Right. And it, it's <laughs> fucked up. It's fucked up, and it's because they broke up the household, and they also they they, they they weaponize our women against us. Yeah. And now yeah, it's, how it always yeah. happened, like when they done with you, when the mission is complete, you left out here with no helicopter. Nobody's coming to save you. You have to languish in the 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 mess that was created by the ones before you. But and there's no suggestions, no no logical suggestions to get anybody back on uh, par for the course. And it, it's a sad thing. I don't. I got a big compassion for this lady. I, you seen Shutter Island before? Who? Shutter Island. Yeah. You remember uh-huh. she snapped and killed the children? Mm-hmm. It's the same type of shit. And like, I wonder how do you snap like that? Because it's. She was. It's, uh-huh. I'm not just fine, but she had to be overwhelmed to the point where you just start killing it. And it's sad, man. And so women need to women need to sit back and if you, you feel, try to sell the kids first. You, uh, <laughs> what's the value? You, you try I'm a to, hustler. That, that your soul they gonna get fucked in Epstein Island, man. Come no, on, man. Shit. Well, what, why did you get rid of? Because you couldn't take care this, of. This is what snapping is. She ain't thinking this shit through. Right. So for women Come right on, now, if you out here feeling life. like you need a fucking break, sit back, take deep breath, and think what you need a break from. Ask yourself what. This was what even y'all all like y'all can do what y'all want to, man. Take a take a fucking therapy stress leave from that job. And don't go to fucking uh some fucking fun resort town and neglect your children. Sit back, bond with your children. I'm not talking about for social media, we get on there, dance, get some mics and shit. Sit Inside. down, talk to your children, form a fucking relationship. Make sure that you realize that these are your children and you love them and they love you. Look at them in their eyes and shit and realize how much they need you. It's not a, once you have a child, it's about the children. When you look at them and you say, this this motherfucker need me to eat. This part, this, this little motherfucker need me to get on a bus. This need me for everything. That should be the most fulfilling thing in the world. But what they want, they want outside validation from the world. Your whole, yeah, role, your whole role is to fucking raise these children. It's easier when you do got a man, but if the man's not there, you still have a role to do. And that's, I mean, it, it's sad. And I just think that the mother gene is dying with black women. Uh, agreed. Nah, no, I can't say only black women. Only this one I deal with. All right. I'm gonna fuck around. That's your argument. I shit about selling genes. Because I see it, as, I mean, I just see it as a whole. Just not to say what I give a fuck about is what yeah. I see. Yeah. And like, it just, yeah. But why women being doing that shit? Like it was more than one. Yeah, so they, 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 they this is back in the running the train. It, it is, it is, and blame the black man. They would blame white women, blame black men. Uh, random nigga came down and killed their baby. Black women do the same thing. Blame black men. But mm-hmm. it's not anything to lambast anybody. Is is I, I really want it's the poison, man. Yeah, I really want people to be more introspective when you say I, I need a break. Yeah. I don't get I don't get the break. I don't, I don't understand it. It's more to me. I'm, and I'm some just, people might say it's because I'm a man, and of course, uh, I don't have the natural disposition to deal with children as a woman do. Mm-hmm. I, I love the fuck out my daughter. I love her, mm-hmm. but I it's, it's certain ways I can't bond with her that a woman can that her mother can, mm-hmm. and that's how it is. Men cannot, especially girls. And then boys still need a certain level of their mother. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because it's the Emotion. nurture. You know what I'm saying? Where we just tough. You know what I'm saying? We teach you. Uh, we we give a motherfucker man. We reach out for man. It's not gonna be that same love and affection. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So yeah, it, it's fucked up. Losing.